Hey fam, welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be me showing you guys how I aim to make a lace closure install look the most natural. Um, I still am a beginner. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to perfect this craft. Um, I do like um, like doing hair videos. I like making the wig. Even though it takes a long time, it's just so dope seeing it all come together and like knowing that you created a wig yourself. But yes, I'm still in, I still am a beginner. I'm not a pro at this yet so anyways this is by Lavi Hair this is a 4x4 lace closure um, all the details will be below because I kind of forgot the lengths of hair oh shoot it's on my teeth I did over plug the uh, middle part on accident I was like, going a little crazy because I was like I'm gonna make this look the most natural I'm gonna do a good job like I said I'm not a pro I'm still learning um thank you guys for learning with me um, I'm going to try to aim to do more talk throughs this one isn't a talk through it's going to be a voiceover because um, I can't talk and try to customize something at the same time it's a little difficult but yes a lot of you were kind of like saying my voiceover sounds scripted and I guess the reason for that is because I low-key stutter and I low-key like don't even have correct grammar sometimes like when I do voiceovers I low-key get very nervous so I talk very fast then I stutter and then I end up not even saying something right grammatically correct and so I have to keep re like recording the same line because I don't know I just keep the same line so that's why it kind of sounds scripted it's not because I write it out I will aim to not make it sound scripted and it's only because I kind of stutter and I get a little nervous because I kind of I want to uh, enunciate every word you know I don't want you to kind of question what I was saying because I do talk fast when I get nervous so I kind of slow it down so you can hear what I'm saying and then I have to re-record because I stuttered or my words got tongue twisted and tied so yeah that's why I'm not a perfect speaker I'm not I'm not really a socializer so I kind of low-key lack talking skills okay sorry let's get into the video right now okay so this is my styrofoam head yes it's a man head because I needed okay well I have a really big head like I have a big ass head so I needed a styrofoam head that was bigger so I got this man um, styrofoam head I guess but I'm just showing you my wig this is the 4x4 lace closure it's not a frontal it's just a closure it doesn't cover the whole front of your head and I'm just going to place it onto the styrofoam head I should have pinned it down I didn't pin it down until later but we're just going to place it on so we can begin by plucking the closure because that's how we're going to attempt to make it look natural so you will need tweezers and right now I'm just um I was kind of fake tweezing the part um, in this scene because I had already tweezed the part and I over plucked it as you can see it's like it's a little too wide and it's a little too bare looking but it's okay I will get better um, so I'm just parting it to make it more straight um, and then I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to go through the whole closure and pluck it. Okay, so you will need a comb, and this is what I'm doing. So, on each side of my middle part, I'm going to go through with a comb and part it, and then begin plucking um, in between the part. And I'm doing this so my closure isn't super blunt and super thick, because on a normal head of hair, I guess, realistically, it isn't super thick in the front. Um, so I'm trying to thin out the frontal, no I keep saying that, the closure just so it looks more hair like. So I just um, part it, go through it, pluck it to my liking. I'm kind of just plucking freely, like I'm not really plucking with much coordination. Um, maybe there is some type of skill to this, but I'm still learning that skill right now. So I'm just slowly parting it, trying to, the hair wasn't laying the way I wanted it to lay. So I was having a little trouble, uh, parting it a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just going through and plucking, um, where I parted it after my middle part, just so I can thin out the front part. In a moment, I'm just going to speed this up because this is a pretty tedious and redundant process. Like, it takes a while, so you have to be patient with this method if you do want a very 
realistic looking wig but I'm going to speed it up here in a moment so you guys don't get super bored of me just plucking. <laughs> Smashbox, Smash. color pop. I blend with the Morphe, I won't stop. Nah. My highlight be popping like pop, pop, pop. My look got you froze, but I look hot. Sex. I hate when I run out of my concealer. Yeah. My cut crease so sharp, it do cut your finger. Shank. I used to face glue, then I add some glitter. Sparkle. Time to post my selfies all on my looks. Glam and do it. Glowing. Mac is the lipstick I'm using. Yeah. My bitches look draggy, don't do this. Don't do it. And as you're watching my speed through, I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other side or other half of the middle part. I'm just going through, plugging it, trying to thin it out as best as I can through this tedious process. Like, you guys should, like, watch some Netflix or some Hulu or some TV while you're doing this because it does take a while. It's very boring. Um, but yes. Yeah, I should have did this in the first place, but I'm just going to take some T-pins. You can get these at any beauty supply. And I'm just going to pin down the hair in the middle part because now we're going to pluck the hairline of the um, lace closure just so like if the wind blows on accident and your hair comes up um, it doesn't look super blunt it looks kind of natural maybe not the most natural it'll still look like you have a wig on um, but yes we're just going to thin out the hairline or what's supposed to be the hairline of the closure I'm just doing the same exact thing just tweezing it trying to thin it out as best as I can without over plucking it like I did with the middle part and in a moment I'm just going to speed this part up once again because it is very tedious and very redundant and I'm going to do it to both sides Okay, hey, there's my face. Okay, so it was kind of difficult plucking the, um, what's supposed to be a hairline on the mannequin. So I chose to just go ahead and pop the wig on and pluck the hairline while the wig is on me. Because it was kind of difficult to see how natural it was going to look on the mannequin. Um, so I'm just going to pull or brush the hair back, comb the hair back, and just continue to pluck the hairline so it isn't as thick and try to make it thinner. Try to make it thinner. Like, I tried. <laughs> I would have honestly preferred to work with a frontal and not a closure because there's only so many ways you can customize a closure because it's only a square on your head. You can't, it doesn't cover the whole front of your head so I would have preferred to work with one but it's okay um I'm going to once again speed this up because I'm going to do this to both sides and it does get kind of tedious I do take a I do spend a lot of time doing this process looks glam and do it glowing mac is the lipstick I'm used to my bitches look draggy don't do this don't do it make a game bitch we so ruthless my looks glam and do it glowing mac is the lipstick I'm used to my bitches look draggy don't do this don't do it make a game bitch we so ruthless gay low Alright, so I'm just going to take this time, I'm just going to uh, comb out my wig because I was messing with it a lot. And I just look to see if it's at the state of naturalness um, that I like. And it wasn't, so, you know, I'm just going to go back in and do a last finishing touch on plucking the closure in the front part and where the part is. Just to thin it out even more, um, just so I can be somewhat satisfied with how it looks and how it appears. And I think I did a pretty good job. I really spent a lot of time on this like I, I would say customizing a frontal or a wig or closure maybe like three hours I did this yes three hours and I cut this video down to 14 minutes okay you guys we're gonna move on to baby hairs I'm just going to take a very thin amount of hair in the front like very little like maybe like five strands okay and then I'm just going to sort of razor them with my scissors um, so I'm not cutting it I'm just letting the scissors um, break the hair off since these is these scissors are like super sharp I'm just razoring the hair off so the ends don't look blunt and it sort of makes it look hair like and I'm just taking some eco styler gel 
it's the argan oil um, type in a toothbrush and I'm just going to lay down the baby hairs and what I'm doing is I keep going over it a bunch of times but I'm trying to separate the hair so they're not all bunched together because that doesn't look super natural but yes I'm just trying to separate the hairs a little bit and then I'm swooping it and then I'm just going to take a comb and um, swoop it a little more since my toothbrush wasn't really doing the job and I just keep messing with it like I want it to look as natural as possible because that the baby hair is kind of like the icing on the cake like that's what that's what pulls the lace closure natural look together in my opinion um so I'm just really working with the baby hairs I want them to look as realistic as possible and not too thick not too thin um but yes I just keep messing with it like baby hairs actually took me like 30 minutes like I was not playing so I ended up being satisfied with that side so I'm going to move on to the other side and do the same exact thing. I'm going to take very little hair from the front part and then I'm going to let the scissors just razor off the hair and I don't know why but this side took me super long. Like I just was not satisfied at all and I kept going back and forth and honestly I think part of it was because the lights that are on me are so hot. And on this day it was a really hot day so I was sweating um, and the gel ended up like not really allowing the baby hairs to like stick to my forehead so they kept moving but you're gonna see this this side took me the longest so i'll try to speed through it so you guys don't get bored but yes i actually spend a lot of time on baby hairs because i really want that natural coming from your scalp look i didn't quite achieve it just because my um middle part is a little slightly over plucked but yes, I'm just taking Eco Styler Gel, a toothbrush, and trying to lay down the hairs. And as you can see, it's just not really sticking to my forehead. And it's because it was hot and I was sweating. And like my sweat wasn't allowing me to work well. And I was getting so frustrated on this side of my damn baby hair part. Glam game. Contour committee. Anastasia. Anastasia. ABH. Anastasia. Okay, so we are reaching the end of my video. I'm just going to put some lash finishing touches, um, fix the baby hairs a little bit, and then I'm going to show you guys how the hair. Um, how the full length of the hair looks in a moment, but I'm just touching it up making sure I look good to walk outside the house so I'm just gonna brush out my hair or comb it out just a little bit And this is how the full length looks um, The longest is 22 inches so it goes 18 inches 20 inches and 22 inches and this is how it all looks This is how long it is and I just want to thank you guys for watching me and supporting me and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Remember the tension. Where you going? Who you impressing? We can't help it. Remember the tension. All I gotta try running to this.